kid, because I care, Chris. And you do <laughs> care. And you... <laughs> I've heard that line before. Back to throw, Trask, and incomplete. I don't think the receiver was looking for it. So hard for a guy, especially a guy with this much talent, that he wants to force some balls. He's going to force two balls already in this game. Extra pressure picked up on second and ten. He's going to take off. That's not his strength, but he got something out of it up near the 18-yard line. He's in absolutely no hurry to play, like at all. He needs to take advantage of his time, his, his last opportunities here to play real football. And, and that's get, great. Throw. Gets the conversion and held on to by Hudson. Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette giving the night off. They'll be your starters. Or at least they'll carry the workload on the ground. Dumps out the ball. Vaughn getting a field. And good enough for a first down. He's playing every position possible in a full football game. It's, it's kind of impressive. Trask well protected this time. And overthrows Tyler Johnson. On a second and ten. Quick pass. Miller. Trying to slip a tackle to Cass. It's Chris Jones. Corner from agent from Nebraska who's from Jacksonville, Florida, making the play. In the first and third round, it, it, this was a terrible secondary last year. They got better right. in free agency. Excuse me, sir. Some room here. What's he going to do? He gets rid of it. After no game. Pass from the pocket throws. And at the last moment, terrific play by Brian Bonnie Calhoun. That the Bucks disagreed with that assessment, but the ruling ultimately was he makes the catch, he gets hit, he goes down, the ball starts to come out as he's going down to the ground. And overthrown incomplete for Mickens. 1976. He keeps, rolls out, loses the football. Bucks are on it. TJ Simmons with the recovery. You know, with these backups at least, we're seeing very much a repeat of what we saw last week. Blitz was on, a nice throw under pressure, and the catch made at the 35-yard line is Cyril Grayson for LSU Tiger holes it. Colts and Seahawks and Houston and Chicago and New Orleans, Dallas. It's healthy to make a difference. Down the middle in the air and intercepted. It's another Tennessee takeaway. End of the game. In the meantime, going deep, Trask, but fighting for it and hanging on for a big time catch of Tennessee. Trask better get rid of it. Instead, he is sacked at the 45. Now, second and 16. Quick pass to Mickens, and he is smothered. Knocked back to the 47 by Molden. 215 straight games yeah, and yeah. your size tackling people yeah. and running into people. Yeah, 98 to 2012. Yeah, man, it was a, it was a long run. <laughs> Good decision there by Trask. Procise gets inside the 40. Looks like they're playing single high defense. And he's going there, and Grayson can't hang on. Would have been a tough catch of the 25. Would have been enough for a first down. He plays a little recklessly uh, at, at the moment, but. It's not a bad thing. He's, he's working. He's making mistakes, but he's making them full speed. And that's you're going to fault a guy for going hard. It's something that he can build on as well. You know, it's easy to to coach mistakes. A lot of times you want to coach success. And a whistle blows as an incomplete pass as he gets knocked to the ground. Uh, they got a Sunday night game where uh, John Lynch is going to get his. Hall of Fame ring from Hudson was open off his hands and intercepted another deflection and Tennessee takeaway awaiting the knock on your door one day for the Hall of Fame Trask from his own goal line completes to Tanner Hudson and he said about 75% yeah, they're not so, there yet yeah, yeah you still need games you need preseason games for a reason you just can't go out, you know, week one like they did last year and expect to be, to be good. To have those type of performance. Play of the game, though. Yeah, you could watch him even if he's not involved in the play, the way he goes after the quarterback. And Grayson fighting just short of a first down. 
you know, I have a, I have a slogan. We thank you for, for watching, staying with us on the Buccaneers preseason television network here. Looks like there was a scramble for the football. I think at the very end of that play, it came out as Grayson was getting, getting tackled. The official is signaling it's, it's still Bucks. You need guys that you can trust to put it in a football game. And, you know, I, who knows if preseason is a proper indication. Um, but you know, who of this game, other than a couple of names that we pointed out, Pat O'Connor throwing him up there and using him. What is he at? They still think of it as young as Hudson on this. It's like a young receiver, but he's just put up incredible numbers his first eight Seven years. years yeah. This will be his eighth. There's a flag down. I'm hoping we get some more offense from the Bucks. They were an offensive machine when it mattered last year. Well timed throw. Couldn't couldn't quite make the catch. He's got a free run because the guy <laughs> he, he anticipated blocking is blocking somebody else. Not you weren't supposed to blitz in the preseason. Kind of a gentleman's code. This is for Mickens and Wade. Out of balance. About? <laughs> <laughs> you, you get guys, anybody, in corners, safeties, linebackers, anybody has a chance to brush the quarterback. And there's a reason why they had so many sacks last year. Great play.